Once again, Candace Owens is in the news for coming at Beyonce, and well, you just gotta see it. The public, if you want to start with being authentic, maybe give us some answers about Diddy's parties. Your husband's been close with him. You think we're just gonna pass all by that and you're gonna, what, flip your hair and talk about another one of his affairs and people are gonna lose interest in it because your mommy is tweeting and calling things fake news that haven't even been confirmed to be fake news? I would really caution you to see which way the wind is blowing, girlfriend, because it is not in your favor. Mind you, what Candace Owens posted on Instagram was flagged as false information, aka fake news. So I don't think that's something her mom is just making up. But my thing about this is why are people trying to come at Beyonce and try to bully her into submission to come out and speak about these Diddy allegations or Diddy parties? Sure, were they close? Did they do business with one another? But it don't really mean anything. Beyonce has never spoken about any other person that's ever been caught up in some wild shit. Never. Ever. But because it's Diddy, she has to speak up. What is she going to say? That's number one. And number two, why would it matter? It's not going to matter if she comes out and speaks against Diddy or whatever have you. Because people have already made up their minds that Beyonce is in cahoots with Diddy. Beyonce is a foul human being. Beyonce is somebody who is at the Diddy parties drugging people. That That's the narrative people are trying to run with. Just because she ain't spoke out against Diddy, all of a sudden she's pro Diddy or whatever. But at this point, because it's gotten so far out of hand, it's not going to matter what she does. She remains silent. People still going to be pissed. She says something about it. People still going to be pissed. And there's an old saying, don't ever pick on the quiet ones. Because when you pick on the quiet ones, eventually they're going to snap and bite back and you're going to tell them to calm down. Maybe they shouldn't do too much. So I should caution Candace Owens because let's say, okay, Beyonce does speak out. But let's say she spills too much tea to where the tea is overflowing the pot or the cup or the kettle and it's hissing on the stove. Because when Beyonce starts talking her shit, the world's going to demand her to be quiet about it. And then it's going to be a little bit too late for that now, won't it? Just saying, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. Like some of the things y'all be saying don't make sense. Just because they're quiet about the topic means that they're in cahoots. No, that doesn't mean that. I don't have to speak out against somebody to prove or disprove that I'm in cahoots with somebody. I can just move different quietly and people will eventually put two and two together. But even if they did speak out against it, they would probably say, oh, this is damage control because she's lost X amount of followers on Instagram, which really don't matter in the grand scheme of things. Like, I don't even understand why people would unfollow somebody on Instagram because she ain't said nothing about Diddy. And it's other people that was close to Diddy that y'all ain't never asking these questions about. Y'all ain't asked Michael Rubin, who, who's always thrown them all white parties that Diddy attended for years. Y'all never asked him, like, what do you think about these Diddy allegations? Point is, there's a whole bunch of other people that's been around Diddy that y'all not keeping the same energy for. And y'all being very selective and trying to bully and intimidate somebody who's just chilling, minding their own business. I couldn't imagine being in their shoes. You are the type of celebrity that moves in silence, but people want you to speak out publicly on certain things. Like, I don't have to. You're not entitled to their opinion. Like, it's not the same with us YouTubers, right? If you do collaborations or videos with somebody and they get caught up, then of course, naturally, people would want you to say something about it because you may got four or five videos on your channel featuring the person. So it would be hard not to speak out against it or whatever have you. At this point, y'all might as well accuse Tom and Jerry of being at the Diddy party doing the shit. You know why? Because people are so stupid enough to believe such a thing. At the end of the day, I think y'all need to stop picking on quiet ones because y'all not gonna like what's gonna happen next. With that being said, y'all let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Till next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.